It's going to be a very busy week for King Charles, but of course, one of the greatest challenges is how he is going to manage the issue of Meghan and Harry. We've already seen him extend an olive branch to the couple. He said that uh, he mentioned in his first speech his love for them. And then of course, we've seen the walkabout where William uh, asked his brother and Meghan to accompany him and the new Princess of Wales on their first walkabout talking to members of the public and looking at those floral tributes. But if anyone sees this as a, a, a sort of rejoining of the Fab Four or the fact that these two, these two couples, warring couples, where one has accused the other of bullying, uh, I think it, at seeing it as a rapprochement, I think that's um, wildly exaggerated. This is going to be an ongoing problem. It will come up as early as Thursday, which is Prince Harry's 38th birthday. We know the King is going to be spending the next few days respectively in Scotland, Ireland and then Wales. But by Thursday, he should be back in London. How does he deal with the issue? of his son's birthday. Does he get together with William and Harry? But then he also, of course, runs the risk that whatever is said at these meetings will find its way into the podcasts, the interviews, the work, the Netflix documentary, and of course, that biography that Harry has coming out. We know Harry had a very close relationship with his grandmother, the Queen. They were very fond of each other. They had a lot of laughs together. Harry will be in deep pain. We saw those photographs of him returning to uh, Balmoral uh, separately from the rest of the family. And you have to remember that this was a place where a young boy learned also that his mother had died. So it's a scene of, of great grief for Harry. As to the this week, his, his grandmother's death and, the, uh, and the, the funeral that will take place, it's almost uh, worth asking the question, will this make it into Harry's book? We know that that book is, is reportedly uh, finished. It's not gone to print yet. Obviously, the Queen's death would be a final chapter, a denouement in that book and Harry's thoughts on it. One can only hope that he writes about, speaks about what his grandmother meant to him rather than the machinations and the insider information that will be happening this week some of which he may be part of, some of which he won't. But it'll be interesting to see when that book comes out. He talked, he did say it was going to be a, a frank account of, of his life as a prince and as a man. It'll be interesting to see what he decides to include from this last week of his grandmother's life and subsequent death. It's less than two weeks ago that Meghan made the thinly veiled threat that she can say anything in that interview with The Cut. And the royal family will be very mindful that even if they were to suggest to Meghan and Harry that anything that happens this week is kept private, that could be interpreted by Meghan and Harry as them being stymied, them being censored, and they could in fact speak about the fact that that had happened. So the new king is in an invidious position. He wants to show warmth and collegiality to his youngest son, but his youngest son and his wife have of course made that de decision to live on uh, the, uh, across the Atlantic and to not be part of the royal family. The other major decision, of course, is the seating for the funeral. We saw during the Jubilee that uh, William and Kate sat very separately to Harry and Meghan. They were on opposite sides of the church. Now, I don't think that's going to go down particularly well for the funeral. We know that the Queen would have wanted unity with her family. And I'm hoping that we see both, uh, both brothers, Harry and William, with their respective wives sitting next to each other for this funeral. But what has spoken about behind the scenes, what went down in those, that short drive in the Audi on Sunday afternoon as they returned to their houses, which incidentally are only four to 500 metres apart, was, is anybody's guess. To, be, to have been a fly on the wall of that car as they were returning uh, would have been a very interesting uh, position to be in indeed.